Greetings! Hello everyone, welcome back to Frog Detective. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I know these don't aren't the best videos views wise on the channel, but I just had to finish it. I played the first two and I love them both so much. So uh, we're gonna play the third one, Corruption at Cowboy C County, and uh, finish the last invest the last mission here. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, I remember you, Mary, but I don't remember the voice I did for you. Okay, okay, thanks for the recap. After the detective, that, that is me. Look at that cute face. Uh, it's a case of the wizard mystery phone call came in. <laughs> Wasn't that mysterious? Supervisor, look at that your beak. Just pet that real quick. Uh, contents were mysterious. Uh, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. To move. Look at all the pictures. Ring, ring. Oh, I, I remember that book. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, it's me, the detective. Yeah. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know. It's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Like a manager. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery to you. Can you even believe it? Yes. <laughs> it's my job to solve the mysteries. <laughs> Obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. <laughs> okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, oh, babe. I know. Bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you, and I'll take you on a little trip. Cute! Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. I want to look at the notes. I made that. Zo zoom in on the, 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 the notes. I made that. Yes. Sick. Now, <laughs> now I can solve the case. I am the frog detective. Got your magnifying glass. Hell yeah. Now I just leave. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station. It's all, all so cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. Cool. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes a detective's notebook. No! <laughs> it's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes, seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, they're actually up to date now. Please, if you can <laughs> review my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Easily 10 out of 10 acting right there. 3 out of 10 on the voice for me, though. Oh, look at that train snake. Good old frag to death. Look at those boots! Hell yeah. Oh, I'm here now. Bye, train. Can I walk on the tracks? No. Wait. Yes, I can. Oh, phone booth. Yes. Hello, this is from... This is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Shama to a better speaking. I'm happy. Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You can you're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about the mystery. 
I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Fuck. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw them on the internet. It's possible for... I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Yeah? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered some special from Wiz Bay. Help me get around. Who's the ho- No, it's gonna be that thing. What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. That would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you'd say that. Right, sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What'd you order then? A scooter, of course. Called it. Sick. Should be near the phone booth. Bull tries to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun too. I will. Alright, see ya. Yay! Scooter! Alright. Yes. My very own scooter. Sick. Got a scooter. Hell yeah, bit me. How do I use it? Left shift. Oh, heck yeah. Whee! Anything up here? Uh, so I just follow the path on. This is so cool. What? Ah. <laughs> wow, that's a long scoot. Starring Lobster Cop. He was weird, if I remember right. Susie Rabbit. Sherman and the Bandits. Frog Detective. Plus a special guest. Ooh. That was a good intro. Why did I drive up here? Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. It's Lobster Cop. You're just chilling, waiting for me. Hey Lobster Cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been saying we saw the conundrum of the sheriff of this county. Ooh. This town is thriving, Detective. Marvel productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff! Yeah. I was kindly enough to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So, anyway. I thought I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. <laughs> the town I realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. 
that contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. Supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, the two of us here, too. Facilitate the hiring for a management position. Detective, you read my mind. Supervisor really <laughs> dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Huh? The position has been filled. Huh? Oh. And you're the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. <gasps> the new sheriff of Calvert County. <coughs> sheriff Mason Moe. Well, congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Basin Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have <laughs> been stolen. You're wearing a hat. <laughs> Not in my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. <laughs> Well, you're the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't even know it was missing. <laughs> Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I'm busy. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure. But not much you really know someone. Alright? What? Don't worry about it. Not detective as I'm the lead investigator on this case. I trust you with my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. Safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects you handle current scene and method. Okay. See as it has for a rookie like you. And all you need to find is a map of the crime scene and a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention, most importantly, a meal. F Wait, what? I feel like I missed something. Meal for uh, a meal? Yes, detective. He was a very hungry boy. <laughs> it would need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you unclear. I'll make sure to get those teeth for you. If you need to be reminded what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. I need a good luck, detective. Alrighty. Tab. Yes, there's my notebook. Case 3. Mystery of the Missing Hats. Lobster cop. Motive. There's no possible motive. <laughs> yeah, I didn't miss anything. It's just a meal. I missed probably a thing of dialogue, but god damn it. <laughs> hey, it's Monster Cop. Number one best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. Alright. Wait, where'd the barrel go? Smells some bullshit around here. Let's talk to the bunny. Can I go in here? No. Uh, let's talk to Bonnie Rabbit Girl. Hey, Susie. Me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't, I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? Alright. You're the best. Thanks. <laughs> I need you to help me break into this bank. <laughs> what? I will not. Huh? Dude, you're already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd, you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so you know, I should change the story, huh? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Oh, no, I pissed her off. No, wait. Excuse me, scissor a bit. No, hello? What? 
It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. I should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break into my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? But nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I have any idea so I can get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Surely, there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. I just mean breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby traps. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. <laughs> uh, it's so annoying. I have... Uh, noising? Annoying. I have a piece of evidence that's vital a missing hats case. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Uh, I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning. Right where the hats were stolen. Big layers on the top of the crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way again to your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? Uh, the vault. So let's brainstorm ideas again to the vault. Ooh, sure, what about? We kicked the bank teller. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Joking, obviously. Where are you? <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What? I'm pretty sure my ID's in the bank vault. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they gonna do? Ban me from home possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No! <laughs> See yourself. Fuck. <laughs> Fine. Theoretically, if I were to help. Yes, then you take touch of Elevate right here. Okay, uh, uh, the map. About the Valpy Evans, the map. What about it? <laughs> what can you tell me about it? Do you remember what I had on? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Ooh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. We be looking forever with some guy to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I don't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? <laughs> That's what the rumors say. You remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get in my vault, it's all yours. Is that a good deal? I'll do my best. Alright. Nothing right now. Wait, hold on. No, I saw some behind me. <laughs> that face. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. It's fake ID. Yikes. Notes. Should have said short temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Alright, perfect. Wait, hold on. I saw something back here. It's a spoiler. Hold on, spoiler. Eh. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's a snake. Eh. Okay. <coughs> oh, I can't do voices. It hurt my throat. There's no shot. That's that's all the outlaws. Is that fuck? The fuck? <laughs> hmm. Yes. Panda bear. Was that a dog? I don't know. Um, can I talk to you? Yo, what's up? Ronda Dynamite. They come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. Ronda Donum Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter mine? No, but I load her here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock, frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Huh. I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. 
Did you just give me your full address? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you literally just bet me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you gonna know where I live? You you have a great point. <laughs> Detectives not have a great point. <laughs> Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich and tell people where you live because how else are they gonna know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, I don't know why you're trying to fight me, bro. You want me to leave? I'm joining some company. So, what do you do? Mm -hmm. What do you do as a job? I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. <laughs> I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell them they're ugly. <laughs> Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's that's the opposite of an outlaw. <laughs> You're right. I think this life is for me anymore. I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. All this fell just before I got here. Yeah, I know. With some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lab Scott wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem with that? Need solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's gonna mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. I'm so sorry. You guys did that and made a and tell them you know. And you go back home now. That's a great idea. About being a sheriff. How many times become a sheriff? By force. That's. Don't. No, she can't do that. I'm the dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. Why did Mason some all ever do you? I don't know, but he's shifty. Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the rule by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? Resume, say, like my list of skills and experience. Experience, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Now, the running supplies. I have paper stuff, I can probably manage it. How can you. I can get you the running supplies, please. Just don't beat them up. Fine, fine. Okay, your job. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to like, trust you. I want to understand. If you're worried about me telling you, I won't tell. My only concern is the mystery missing hats. Still in the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. <laughs> That's reasonable. <laughs> okay, then, I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow, it sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of print stuff out. Your forgery arts lost document is versus case. IDs, you name it. Did you for your certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> well, I have a question about the case I'm working on. Uh, none. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the fucking picture. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal a hat. It's just a hunch, though. To write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict resume. <laughs> no, it's wants to fight me. No, wait, she wants to fight everyone. Knows my full address. Dreams of being sheriff. Oh, fuck. You can do that? Ah! I don't think it's... I have a fucking... <laughs> He's suspicious, though. I don't know what it is. Suspicious fucker. Right there. Um... Probably that's that place. I don't know. Oh, it's just snakes. I drove a train. Cool. This looks like a mail place. Listen here. I can't open the door. Alright. This seems like a place for drying supplies. Which is what she needed, right? Uh, no. No. Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's right now. <laughs> to write a resume. 
But I'm guessing you can help me out, right? Let's talk to the bear. Wendy. Good afternoon. Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh, um, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wider range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? Process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need any. <laughs> special orders have an average of a two day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It's one of our many great policies. Such as, we are proud to offer our customers a satisfactory, satisfaction guarantee in all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. <laughs> what happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So can I get a refund? Satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If you're feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean. Of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at the county general store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. Been embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in the future, just tell people what you're there for. Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily slipped up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self conscious. No, no, you did great. <laughs> I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. Has been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? New job. Can I not get the shit here for the resume? So you just serve in your shop. How's it going? I should say I'm nailing it, but honestly, it doesn't feel that way most of the time. That's all good. Not a good time. Shop has been with family for generations. I thought it, in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kind of the same. It doesn't happen. Same is good. At least it's not worse. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there's one thing. What is it? See his portraits on the wall? What is that fucking bear? Right there. I like his little hat. They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them. Except for me. Mine's just a silly <laughs> photo. No, it's good. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea of how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? At what time? Besides, that was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Uh, I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the photo. I can't remember how full of you on the off chance I found a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think it's weird. Okay, sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Shit just happens. Can I ask you some questions? Fuck, I can't do the shit here. Alright. Bear pick. Ooh. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime. You need some portrait painting. Seven months in the biz, rehearsed and formal. You're professional and warm. I'm not carrying around a photo over, and nobody thinks I'm weird, especially not me. All right, thank you. Uh, I figured. Oh, carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have the money? No. Then you cannot buy these carrots. God damn it! 
Hmm. Yes, I like this picture. But I do like the bear. I like the little hats. Um... Oh, that's Sheriff's Place. Um... Yeah... I wonder what's up here. I saw this place. Oh, God. It's the bandits. It's a spoon. I want the spoon. It's a shovel. What are you? Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am. Not. <laughs> Maybe it's time to start modeling. I found the guy to do the portrait. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what you... I'm a detective. Huh. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an all AC. My name is Sherman. Sorry, I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Uh-huh. What? Because they have good looks. Am I about to fuck this? I don't know what this is. It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, you could like steal my heart because you're so dashing. You're too kind. Anyway, can't, can't I help you? You're about the missing hats. Missing hearts? You've stolen them. Sorry, just joking. Maybe not time for my killer sense of humor. The hat's right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? <laughs> That's what I'm going to figure out. You see anything sp suspicious? I looked in a mirror. <laughs> We're suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Uh, it's funny. Uh, clearly she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? No. Don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be a sheriff. Cowboy County's always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it'd be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or nothing, but just hope he keeps the county as well as it ever was. Are you spoken to him? Barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. Well, uh, no. <laughs> be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be welcome with Paolo, but I feel concerns. My eyes question about a case. Sheriff Mason. Why are you so suspicious, Mimo? She don't like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Anyway, I don't really know. I really want to see his moves. Why is he here? Hmm, not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobby's cop's judgment. This new guy, he's so quiet and shady. You know what job he did before this? I have no idea. How do you know? Nope. Figures. You mind if I have some question about the case? That mine. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. No, I mean, it's not excessive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get in the mine, but it's all blocked up. Yeah, you try exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I think more along as I have a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. That one? I can trade you f for a shovel. I'll oh, think about it. Alright. Nothing right now. <coughs> so this seems a lot be more interconnected with you solve one thing and then that sets up another thing. Which... I don't know, I found it difficult to pay attention, those eyes. <laughs> so funny, so cool. I f no, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. Sherman, you make me blush. Um, it seemed like in the last ones, it was a lot more of like, you get the one person, and then you do whatever they needed, and you're just done with them. Which, this one seems like it's probably going to be a case of where 
You're holding on to them for two or maybe even three things. Wait, that's a snake. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What's back here? Well, oh, it's a well. Oh, you can do sick kick clips. I can't get down there without a ladder. I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers. Oh. I don't. Could you break your nostrils? I guess. Oh. Um, eh. Wait. No, f no shot, this guy. Ah. Alright. Yes. Sick kick flip, bro. Okay, so this guy, he's got lines going to everyone. Slot. Suspect of the cow, the bunny, the bear, the mouse, the, the warthog, panda bear, back sloth, sloth, koala, rat, mouse, sloth, uh, sloth, the panda, the, 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 the warthog, mouse, bear, Rabbit. Mew Mew. Sloth. I don't know. Alright. Uh. Ooh. Gloves. Ooh. These could come in handy. Alright. Get it. Handy. Gloves. Excuse me. Yeah, Sheriff. Those are evidence. <laughs> evidence of what? Crime. <laughs> I'll leave them here. No. No. Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Wait. What? Cool. Sweet. I got the gloves. The fuck? What is the sheriff, bro? Gloves. Nice. Alright, uh, talk sheriff. Hi, Sheriff Mason Mall. Hello. How is your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being a sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Strange. Must have a familiar face. No. <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So how'd you meet Lobster Cup? School. You know each other's in school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cup is pretty hard to please. You must think highly of you to suggest you use the new sheriff. Yes. It's nice, isn't it? Friend who thinks the world of you. Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became a sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. <laughs> helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry, huh? There you go again, being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. Yeah, this guy's suspicious as fuck. Motive? Want to be the only person around with a hat? Needs to be left alone, it seems. Fellow, a few words. Previous job helped out. Suspicious. I think there's this conspiracy going on. <laughs> what the fuck is this picture, bro? God damn it. Alright. Let's talk it out with Moo Moo. Moo Moo. Oh, guys, Craig, if you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here for fraud, detective, crime-solving agency. Oh, yeah? Well, you could try to write the credentials. Oh, well, I'm a detective and a frog. I'm here to solve mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just now, I don't trust you. 
I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. And there are many different societies around here. And they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What type of secret societies are there? For starters, you got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posses are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure how it's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. So why can't we open everyone's mail? Not so public if you ask me. <laughs> open your eyes. <laughs> another society is Ghost Spiders League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, yeah, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of these societies, but that's only half true. Oh? Uh -huh. Ghost Spiders League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed that they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spider? Well, that might be a problem. To be that keen league, you need to have spotted a ghost. You haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm a detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. You know about ghosts? Well, I saw the mystery in Volume 1. Mystery of the Haunted Island. See that in Episode 2. Although it wasn't on in the end. So, no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no. I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask questions? Everyone just wants information on me. Ghost Players League. How close are you to ghosts? ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? Well, requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, society just needs a credible ghost sighting story, tangible proof, ghosts like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? Depends, but yeah. So there's a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send them the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are for ghosts, or just normal photos. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. You're so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever playing again. I'm on my second strike. Why just the first two times? Fake for first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. So clever they figured me around right away. <laughs> That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. <coughs> uh, so, I'm right there, but I just want to go. So I just want to be a part of it. I suppose I've fared off. You know, maybe everyone that wants to be a part of something. I guess societies. I suppose she size is dedicated to stealing hats. No? Okay. Societies run deep. Barely scratch the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done, it's all dictated by these secret societies. Surely that can be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? Huh, like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. No, I can't do it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how I can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Well, yeah, what evidence do you have that's not true? None. I suppose it's just lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more like lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. <laughs> I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. Okay, bye bye. Bye, Craig. You're a cool guy. I don't think he's suspicious, though. Motive? Why am I a secret hat stealing society? Definite proof of a ghost. Is there a conspiracy theorist who knows way more about the world than me? Does not buy my detective disguise, drat. What the fuck is a drat? Just wants to be part of something. Yeah, we all do. Off we are to the saloon. To drink. And get wasted. No. To wear on the clock. Wow. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. Holy shit, that's a ghost. That one right there is the ghost. 
No, that's a tree. Fuck. What's back there? Maybe that one? Which one is of the ghost? That's just the dog. I mean, maybe that one, but I don't know. What's up here? Boots! Ah, oh, this is how you get to the koala bear. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this le theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to, ter to determine what's good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright up here? <laughs> Fuck. How do I charge the solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats. And no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. <laughs> Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. Now I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get this wrong a lot of the time. Or we determine right, wrong, and right. Haha. <laughs> Haha. If you don't mind me saying, you look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet, trying to compose a perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Hmm. Okay. Ahem. <coughs> A cowboy's life is so much fun. Sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter. Sing a tune. Say yee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. Their smiles shine brighter. When waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too. Yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlier an outlaw's life is not for me. I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's that's my poem. It's beautiful. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's a perfect cowboy poem, but staying close. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. I have asked you some questions about the case. Go ahead. Perfect cowboy poem. <coughs> Do you need help with workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far. Maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Ahem. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, from his set out. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. How about that? From his set near the tracks. Near the tracks! Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store to get some more. Cause he, uh, towards the, hmm, towards the store. Towards the store! He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead, his shock stood a dolly built off a block. <laughs> There was a Nessie from the rock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Stood in office block. Stood in newly built office block. Um, okay, sure. Fuck. <laughs> but just ahead, 
Tosh Shark stood a newly built office block. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. A tumbleweed in its place. Nothing there, just empty space. Mm. A tumbleweed in its place. A tumbleweed in its place! Oh, plot twist. Okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his place. The cowboy smiled, shook his head, and off he went. Feeling like an egghead. To tell it back to bed. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite this in front of the crowd. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understood the cowboy life a little better, a bit better now. Maybe one day, after I'm confident enough to become one myself, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my rings. Fuck yeah, cowboy. Really? You don't want to write down any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools, so I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. And we take... <laughs> Yay, writing set. Hell yeah, cowboy. Writing set for the, the other guy's thingies. I just sort of cowboy powers do cowboy hat osmosis. Not great at budgeting. <laughs> Alright. Great. Alright, bye bye. Can I? Yes. Do you mind? Uh, 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 writing supplies. I have a surprise surprise right here. I helped compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. <laughs> Thanks for getting those right supplies. I appreciate it. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We all can't be Rhonda Dynamite. Uh, fake ID. There we go. Yeah. Help me out, please. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can do. Do you want to know what it's for? Nah, you should other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Yeah, damn. Alright, all done. Thank you. Got a fake ID. Listen, kids, if you're ever in trouble in life, just get a fake ID. Helps out. Thanks. Tumbleweed. Oh, I can actually kick it. It bounces and stuff. Hell yeah. Get the fuck out of town, Tumbleweed. Okay. Susie, Susie. Mine. No, I got give item. Okay, so. Before I give you this. Just know that this makes me very uncomfortable, but I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So, here's your fake ID. <laughs> yes! This rules. Looks so realistic. I don't think it looks real realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. Poor guy, she locks shit in there. It worked. Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. No, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Here, here, here. The detective helped me break into the bank. No, no. <laughs> they should call you the burglar. <laughs> I did not want to be called that. Ah, uh, here I got. Thanks. Crime map. Crime map. Got my real idea out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. Let's go. Alright, there we go. 
got the crime scene map. Oh, I don't need that. Portrait painting. <laughs> Alright, um. I like get a portrait. Hey, I thought I told you. Fuck out of here. Uh, this guy, Panda Bear. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. <laughs> you get what I mean? Good to see you. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Oh, you must be pistol. Ask me if I'm sorry, it's all Cowboy County. And potentially. She's a world. Yeah, you mentioned that many times in your email. She and we have been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I'd love to illustrate them. I love that too. Fortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest people who work yet. It's an uh cactus. Clearly, uh who oh, my king detective. I lost my artistic touch. Shit's just happy. Create block. Create a block? No! I clicked on a banner on cyberspace. It took me to a strange website. Click here for epic video of worm who is buff. You were, you were right to click on it. When I loaded it, it was just a scary picture of a witch. Made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. <laughs> it's terrible. What did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it was just a prank? Prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary. I'm normally very brave. The website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic? It's been three hours and I found my latest muse. Muse? No, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one. Today I haven't seen anything. I ask you some questions. Go ahead. I'll me the, the muse. I you need a muse. Curse to ever have one. It's only been a few hours. When may I show up? I doubt it. I think it's the end of my paying career. <laughs> Don't give up now. What if I can help you find a muse? Wanna help me? I'd love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I'm <laughs> just drawing you. That's understandable. Mm hmm. Well, grab something compelling. Only too much challenge for me. I'm detective. What about putting on a hat? No comment. You guys weird shit. <laughs> I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. Go ahead. Uh, bear pick. Paint it. Wow. It's beautiful. This is Wendy from the store. Sure is. It'll be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay, we all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So this work is your new muse? Absolutely, stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. <coughs> oh my god, and voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Ain't so proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm just happy to have my talent back. Talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Portrait. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint. I did, did that already. And <laughs> some internet safety lessons. To million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. No, I lifted it. 
Alright, uh, let's get the bear going. Hey, bear. Uh, don't care. Give him a portrait. I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol, the painter, saw your photo, and he thought you were a perfect muse. You said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Yes. Wow, that's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I own? No choice. You just got to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> this whole thing. Don't worry about it. Paying is a curse, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting a portrait for me. No problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. A whole ladder? This seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it. I promise. If you say so. Thanks. Please, just have it sticking out my ass or some shit. Please. I want to ride the scooter and have that fucking ladder. <laughs> oh. Do I... Uh, please. Let me... Damn it. Why well, I can at least go outside town now. Where was that shit? Where? Shit's sick, bruh. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. What's down the well? Donzo. That it? It's a K. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard a keychain? I'll take this with me. Got a key. Is that it? Sweet. Uh, oh. Wait a minute. Not only is this like ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. Great. So, got that. Yay! Uh, so I got that done. I don't care. I still need to talk to the one guy in here. Also, pickaxe. Hello, what are you? I think you're a warthog, but I don't know. Bonnie. Uh, nothing for me. I'm here on official business. Uh, about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident in Cowboy County without a hat. Wait, what? Without? I mean, until now. It was perfectly suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew. Uh-huh. You see the hats cook them up in your stew? You bet. Oh. Everyone, come get your hats, too! <laughs> I'm just pulling your legs. <laughs> I'm a jokester. They call me Mantering Bonnie. Nice nickname. <laughs> I'm literally joking. <laughs> you just call me Bonnie. I made that up. <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah. I get it now. Um, and when you mention that you don't wear a hat, why not? My head is a weird shape. Uh. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, mine too. I don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm sad most of the time, so why bother? Uh, it's a suspicious thing. Lol. Okay. Lol. Hey, detective. Yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I don't know. Why are we yelling? It's a joke. Lol. It's okay if I talk normally? Yes, but I was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my name is Aaron Slug. I'm also a keen historian of Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Huh? Gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. Check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. No, I just got the gravely thing. 
Can I ask you some questions about this case? Ghost photos. You know much about the photos here in the saloon? Huh? Legend has it, they're haunted. I don't really believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Uh, hat stew. You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I'm making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're on. I think you got a bit scared off. Ah, uh, you have bands in the saloon? Well, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No. You're right. It just changes vibe. They hang around all day, creating things that find themselves. I miss the rootin', tubin', cowboy, bootin' times we used to have. You want fan art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop talking themselves so seriously. Your solution is stew? Hat stew! Ch I'm joking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. Just no stew, but I'm famous for around here. Lower my own stew, give me here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough of green, so. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you cash. Sure. Got some money. Oh, and around these parts is really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Guess so. Give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good idea. Guys, okay, suppose it's to, uh, to... And right now. Carrots, money. Wait, money for carrots. Uh, whatever. Bonnie. Motive. Practical joke, perhaps. Needs carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking! Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Keen cowboy hunter. Sorry. Hates creativity. <laughs> Alright, bye bye. I buy your carrots now. No. Wait, it was here, wasn't it? Uh, fuck. Carrots. Alright, please buy these carrots. Do you have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, <laughs> need to brag. Thanks. Got some carrots. Carrots money? Now I just have carrots. I need to find, um, the flower things, don't I? Is this right? Uh, are you just fucking slamming your hand on the on the cactus to get the fucking <laughs> um how many cactus flowers do I need whatever Does work. Another uh, cactus flower. I don't know how many I need. Another one up there, though. Does it say Porum? <laughs> no, I'm never bored. And I hate crime. It needs to be number one. Always suspect yourself, but also believe in yourself. Being alive is confusing. I won't label myself as suspicious. Yeah, like I can't take those, so. Not enough here. Cactus flower. Should be enough. Perfect. I 
Oh, Jesus. Get the carrots. You're the best detective. How'd you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll have them to the stew now. Uh, and I kite it. Ca cactus. I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll have them to the stew. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It's not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, what up? Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Did you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it's a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was picking some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a second, I'll finish this and give you some. Great, thank you. I reckon I could give this to the lobster cup. Do whatever you want. Wait, where the fuck do I get a pickaxe then? I have the map, the stew, which is a meal. Oh, fuck. Criminal tool. Which I guess is the shovel somehow, but pickaxe. Proof of ghost. Oh, can I talk to you about the ghost now? Uh, ghost photos. Do you know photos here? I think that's it. Okay. So do I just click on the photos then? She's wondering, did you ever think of that? Why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. So I smiled of a clever business word. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay. This isn't fair. Is this a ghost? Oh, Mark? <laughs> what? I think I'm out right. That's my ex-husband. Oh! Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question there. My bad. I'm just kidding. He's not actually, my ex. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. That's not haunted. It's just nice energy. Okay. It's pretty spirally. It's a crocodile man. Doesn't have to be. Gold miners. Huh? Still alive? How old is he? It's a polite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 though. I know. I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was to ask someone's age. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay. Black rabbit. White dog. Black rabbit. Well, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck. This is the most haunted photo of all. Why? The chance that this rabbit was a real mean guy. You'd put banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedgies. You name it. That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah. This guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. Great sheriff. Loved by all. So I haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. <laughs> no, not the puppy. Is this a ghost? <laughs> I doubt it. It's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It's really weird and messy. Fun though. Are you still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Wait, what? Do I have to pick a random one? 
Fuck. <laughs> Fucking God damn it. Yay. Do I have to pick a random one? God damn it. Oh no, it's gonna be one of the other ones. Okay. God fucking damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. That's <laughs> a strange air to it. Uh, it's so you feel real chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like, seen too much. Man has, who's lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Funny? Yes, Detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think it might well be right. Can I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to get rid of it. Thank you. Got a haunted photo. And a fucking music going around, around, around it. <laughs> Alright. Where is that fucking... Spider! Give me the photo. So I took a look at the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me stories of all the photos. The rest of us seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell. The image of the photos is spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. It's okay if I take a photocopy of this. That's fine. Hopefully this will be enough proof for the ghost of Spotter's League. To finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? <laughs> Sorry? But why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? <laughs> Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not, but usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pig, I think, sorry. That's okay, I guess. There's one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. <laughs> it's really intense, it's just a pig X. For you? Maybe. Whatever, thanks for the pig X. Yay, I found the pig X. Okay. God, that picture is so fucking dumb, I hate it. But I also love it. But I hate it. And I love it. Alright, now I can go, uh, yeah, ask him, pickaxe, shared it. Ooh, I'd love that, thanks. I got out straight away for a nice dinner. Just you and I. I'll take the shovel for now. Offer's open. Maybe after I solve the case. Okay. Got the shovel. I think this is good for the... Crime map, the shovel, a dig, the key to probably unlock the thing with the heads. <laughs> I hope he didn't do it. <laughs> Um, I think this is good, right? Let's talk to Lobster Cop. Why is that big ass smile on your face? So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Uh, I think so. Uh, great initiative. Let's take a look. Map the crime scene. Look at my cover graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we don't have to. But we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Ooh, a shovel. Hmm. I think you could be right. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. You know where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Oh, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, this stew is clearly for me. How oh, would you like it? The rookie came through. Nice work. Thanks, Lazarus. You go, I crack a crime scene. 
Oh, you're me out. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do it. I'll take that meal now, though. All yours, enjoy. I'm so fucking suspicious of him. It's not even funny. Him and fucking mole. Well, here goes then. Key, 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 key! Ba da 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 It's the hats. So relieved to have him back. I'll take him back to town. Sure, nice have some more resolution of this mystery. Got lost hats. But do 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 do. Just in time for it, now I mean to begin. Where's all the businesses? Poem. Please read a poem. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, stood a newly built office block. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in his place. Cowboy smiled, shook his head, and off he went back to bed. That was fucking beautiful, dude. Let's go! Fuck yeah! Please do not have it covered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I'm pleased to announce I found the color print in the case of the missing hats. Uh-huh, huh. I have worked out to come as side effects. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of finding Mason Mullins as a sheriff. Everybody loves this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after the detective arrived. And me. Quite please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all know it's your high school missing. <laughs> Wait. So great size I have to tell you this. Culprit's crime, hat stealing monster of the Cowboy County, none of the second best investigator. Frog detective. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I have been preserved as evidence by a very old mission mold that ties the detective to the crime. What happens? This <laughs> No, it's a mistake. I was digging up the hats, because I found a location. And why you look so mischievous? I know, someone's drawing up. What's on me? I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> you have to admit, Detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You come to a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird hat shit. Yeah, I think you should wear some more. Because <laughs> you wear hat shit. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. Same as me, you do, Detective. Why else would you steal hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But in, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Mm hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. <coughs> we'll have to evade a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bedroom. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's less of an idea, more of an honest concept. I will elaborate. 
They put Rogue Detective in the bedroom for punishment of crime. No. Huh? It's an excellent, if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Mall. We will construct the bedroom at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well, in that case, Detective, I sent you to one year of living in the bedroom. This is the worst day of my life. No, Frogman. I've been with you through thick and thin. No. The fuck is the bedroom? It's a jail cell? No. No. I fucking knew it. It was Lobster Cop and Ma, the Sheriff M Mason Mall. Just wanna go home to slippery. That's the home. ending. Where the air is fresh and life goes on. No shot, that's the ending. I've been in here for far too long. <laughs> Starring lobster coffers. So here I go. It's a burglar. I feel like she'd be upset. We don't have anyone else to credit, and there's still time left. Song and song. Only credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. Are you shitting me, dude? There's no way that's how this ends. Thick. Frog Detective, all sad in that cell. Took my time. Learning how to be the best. So what comes now? Can't remember not doing right. But while I'm here, maybe <laughs> I might. I mean, it's a good song, but. Just wanna go home to slip. shot this is how it ends send a message send a message get that shit coming true come on hit me with it yeah, man. Yeah. It's like I got a fucking bounty on my heart. Want it dead, not alive. Want to tear that shit apart. In the rain before the center, like they're throwing a door. Got your chest in the water, so now I'm swimming with sharks. It's been getting dark, and I've been seeking a spark. I'm up in the night.